Welcome to Crocodile MTG. Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Jordan with Crocodile MTG here bringing you another Magic the Gathering video. Today we are playing Mono Red Burn. Uh, we're going to start off with this Goblin Guide and hopefully this Goblin Guide can take us to a victory. We are currently 2-1 in the league. This is match number 4. Alright, so no possible plays. Swing in with Goblin Guide. Pyromancer's Ascension. So it looks like we're either against a blue-red Phoenix deck or a Storm deck. So we'll see here. If we are against either of those, I think our sideboard options are Rest in Peace and Rakdos Charm. I think it's probably some combination of both. All right, this looks like a Phoenix deck to me. And they haven't discarded a Phoenix yet, yet which is good. Um, so I'm going to swing in. I'm actually going to play this Eidolon. I think it's very good against the Phoenix deck, being they're trying to cast as many spells as they can, as fast as they can. So Thing in the Ice is on top. Eidolon here is just going to be a powerhouse. Hopefully we can find it all the games we play against our opponent here. Alright, so Polluted Delta. They might just have a bolt for this Eidolon as well, which makes it a little less significant, but we'll see. In the meantime, we're going to be swinging in with our creatures here. Alright, so I want to keep the land in case I need it for something later. We'll attack with everything. Spire Bluff Canal. Alright, so our opponent's going to bolt down this Eidolon, which they're going to take to... Which puts them down to 10, which means any fetch land is lethal next turn. I'm going to suspend these Rift Bolts and spectacle this now while we can. I guess I should have played the Skewer now. I mean first. Alright. We might... We're in an okay spot here. We're not in a great spot, but we're in a, we're in a good spot. I forgot they had that Spire Bluff that they just got off the revealed card. So anything I think off the top of our library kills our opponent. I think best right now would be a Searing Blaze. Alright, so we're going to Rift Bolt our opponent down to 4. Rift Bolt our opponent down to 1. And now just anything kills him. And victory. There we go. On the game number two, with this being the Phoenix deck, I think I want the paths for a thing in the ice. Or maybe I just want... No, I probably want the paths, not the bridges. Um, so I want this boundary. I'll cut a land for that, so that's just part of our mana base now. Do I want Rakdos Charm or do I want Rest in Peace? Probably just the Rest in Peace, right? They're playing Ascension, which makes me want Rest in Peace more. And Searing Blood? Because that kills the Phoenix. I probably cut Rift Bolts. Do I cut? What do I cut? I don't think I cut a shard volley. Maybe I don't want too many of these. So two cuts now. I'm gonna 
cut a shard volley and a lava mancer, I think, just because if we're playing lava mancer against uh, consuming apparition, it's just not the ideal play. So this is a keepable hand. And maybe I should have kept shard volley over lava spike. So our opponent's gonna play conservatively with their life total. We're not. I think we're gonna play with foothills and go get a mountain. I think we do not want to be drawing lands the rest of the game. We're gonna play this goblin guide and swing in. I think it's our best turn one start. So they have Faithless Looting on top, which means they can bring back Phoenix's next turn, possibly, which isn't great. Alright, they have Thing in the Ice. Maybe I can draw a Searing Blaze? No. We, we drew a Bolt, though, and I think it's almost worth it. We're gonna start by swinging. If they block, I think it's worth hitting or killing the thing. All right, dispel on top. I just think it's overall better than what we're uh, currently doing. I think I want to get this grim lava mancer down. Why I can. If our opponent has a bolt and they use a bolt on the Grim, I mean, that's reasonable. They also have this Faithless Looting. Okay, so they have another thing, which isn't great here. Alright, I forgot they had Gut Shot. That's another reason to take out the Grim Lava Mancer. Okay, Eidolon's very good here. So I'm going to play this Lava Spike, and then I'm going to play out this Eidolon, and I'll pass the turn. There's no point in risking giving them another land. I know about the Dispel in their hand, I know about the Faithless Looting in their hand. Alright, so they're playing out another thing in the ice. Like, what's their overall plan? They have to find a way to kill this Eidolon. I'm just going to deal six to them, because then they go down to two. Or they go down to four. All right, we'll pass the turn. They have to find a way to kill this Eidolon before they can do anything else. Otherwise, they just die, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so they're going to play Faithless Looting, which means they can't cast anything under 3 CMC the rest of the game. I don't see how they're going to win this one. That being said, if they found a way to kill Eidolon without killing themselves, we can... They can kill us. They hit us for 14. All right, it looks like they're going to kill themselves. Good game, opponent. Thank you so much for watching. Please go hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video.